notorious child rapist convicted of abusing boys in Rhode Island and Massachusetts in the 1970s could be released from civil confinement. Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court has ordered Wayne Chapman be released after experts found him to no longer be sexually dangerous. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in our studio with what happens next and when Chapman could be a free man. Steve? Well, Shane and Mike, the ruling is simple enough. Wayne Chapman is no longer civilly committed. He's not free yet, though. There's still another court battle next month with a lot on the line. Wayne Chapman will be released from civil confinement. The notorious child rapist has been convicted of abusing boys in Rhode Island and Massachusetts in the 1970s. His sentence ended years ago, but he's been civilly committed because court-appointed experts deemed him sexually dangerous still. That is until last year when two qualified examiners deemed him too old and sick to be a danger. Wednesday, the Supreme Judicial Court ruled against the Commonwealth and two victims, saying that he can be released. His attorney said that's what the law was, and today that's what the law continues to be. Attorney General Mara Healy wrote, following this decision, it's now even more important to enact needed changes to our laws to protect our communities from sexually dangerous people and support victims who deserve to be heard in the process. We will be working with our partners in government on legislation. Despite the ruling, Chapman will remain in custody after a Department of Corrections staff alleged he exposed himself in front of a nurse in June 2018. Chapman's attorney claims he urinated on himself and the sheets were being changed. His attorney says Chapman can't afford the $25,000 cash bail. Now, if Chapman is convicted of these new charges, the SJC noted that Massachusetts can file a new petition to keep him in custody before he's released. Coming up new at 6, we sit down with one of Chapman's alleged victims to get his reaction to the court's ruling. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. First, new details on what happens next for convicted child rapist Wayne Chapman following today's ruling by Massachusetts' highest court. As we broke at noon, the justices ruled Chapman should be released from civil confinement. New at 6, we're hearing from one of Chapman's alleged victims about today's developments. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us live in studio with the interview. Steve? Shannon, Mike, Chapman's not free yet, and a man we introduced you to last year hopes Chapman will never walk free despite today's ruling. He's a sick man. Dan Christian says he's one of Wayne Chapman's victims. Wednesday, the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court ruled Chapman should no longer be civilly committed. I actually got sick. I couldn't believe when they were going to release him, when they said he was, when he said he was cured, I was sick. I not believe it. The notorious child rapist was convicted of abusing boys in Rhode Island and Massachusetts in the 1970s. After his sentence ended, he's been held on civil confinement until last year when two qualified experts said he was no longer sexually dangerous. Mm -hmm. The state and two victims petitioned to keep him committed. But how could they say that that man was cured? There is no cure for what he's got. Wednesday, the court ruled against them, saying he can be released. However, he will remain in custody on $25,000 bail because of a new charge in June. Prison staff say he exposed himself to a nurse. Attorney General Mara Healy said they need new legislation to change the laws. Christian agreed. He's worried Chapman will reoffend. Uh, it's it screwed up my life. I, after that happened, I couldn't concentrate in school anymore. I, I don't respect adults anymore. I ruined my whole life. A trial for Chap or, uh, Chapman's new trial is set for June. His attorney says if Chapman is found not guilty, he'll be a free man. If he's convicted, the Supreme Judicial Court wrote that the Commonwealth can petition again before his release. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.